This is Muhammad Zahid with engineering training platform. From this training platform, you will able to learn step by step PLC and to get high score in interview and certification. Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about Sumatic S7200 software and in my previous presentation, we already discussed then how to use Sumatic S7200 software. Uh, some contents I already covered and some of them in this presentation we are going to cover which are step 7 micro wind data block, system block, cross reference, communication, tools, options, information, step 7 micro wind compare and instruction. In this slide, uh, just I give you the example then how the data block screen look like and also I will give you the example then how you can uh, use the data block. To access the data block, use one of the following methods. Click the data block button on the navigation bar or select the menu command view component and go to the data block or open the data block folder in the instruction tree then double click on a block page these are the option and also you can see then how to create the DB register divide your data block variable memory assignment into function groups by inserting new data block page tabs then what is the method to create the new data block page tab then first of all you have to go click on the data block window and then select the menu command, edit, insert and go to the data block. The other option in the instruction tree, right mouse button, click on a data block page icon and select insert then go to the data block from the pop-up menu. Another option or right mouse click in the data block window and select insert data block from the pop-up menu. There can be maximum of 128 tabs. In the instruction tree, right mouse button, click on a data block page icon and select the properties command from the pop-up menu. Here you can rename the data block tab and assign an author. The protection tab of the properties dialog let you password protect individual data block tabs a protected tab display the lock icon the same protection feature is available in the data block editor with the right mouse click made directly on the tab name in this slide we are going to discuss about the system block s7200 cpu options are configured in the system block you can see here the navigation bar uh, the system block then you have to click on the system block button because you must establish communication between your PC where step 7 micro win resides and CPU before you can download or upload a system block click on a branch on the system block tree to modify the project configuration and you can see here in the branch of the system block communication ports and here you can define the ports then after that you can see the retentive ranges password output tables input filters pulse cache bits background time expansion module configuration configure LED and increase memory in this slide we will discuss about the cross reference table byte usage table and bit usage table use the cross reference table when you want to know whether a symbolic name or memory assignment address is already in use in your program and if so where it is used the cross reference list identifies all operand used in the program 
and identifies the POU, network or line locations. An instruction context of the operand each time it is used. For the byte usage table, allow you to see which bytes from which memory area have been used in your program. It also help you recognize duplicate assignment errors. The bit usage table allow you to see which memory addresses down to the bit level have been used in your program. It also help you recognize duplicate assignment errors. Now I will define the single word and their function then it will be helpful for you. A small b indicates that a bit of memory has been assigned. Capital B indicates that a byte of memory has been assigned. Capital W indicates that a word 16 bit has been assigned. Capital W indicates that a double word 32 bits have been assigned. X used for timers and counter. In this slide, you can see the communication uh, screen uh, because as you know that step 7 micro win windows drivers are configured with said PGPC interface control. If the windows driver is correctly configured, then you can use the communication control to see all S7200 CPUs on the network and select a particular CPU for connection to step 7 micro win. Additional tool such as S7200 Explorer, TD200 Keypad Designer and S7200 PC Access are stand alone application program. To activate the help of these additional tools, you must first start the appropriate application program and then open the help. Setting up programming options in step 7 micro bin, then you have to go and to select the menu command tools, options and in the options tree, click on the journal node. Open the journal tab and configure the following options. Default editors, ladder, FBD or a statement list and you have to choose one of them. Then mnemonic sets, in the mnemonic sets for the instruction it will be symmetric or international. In the regional setting, measurement system, it, the options with US or metric, the time format 12 or 24 hours, date formats and after that you can see the programming mode, it will be symmetric or IEC. 1131-3 This option is deactivated if several instances of step 7 micro win are open. Close all but one window of step 7 micro win. Then you can see the option for the languages. You can choose German, English, French, Spanish, Italian or Chinese. In this slide, I will show you then how you can see the PLC information. To view PLC information such as CPU models and version numbers, operating mode, scan rate, IO module configuration, CPU and IO module server and even history log select the menu command plc go to the plc and information in the module information to view information for an intelligent module if one is attached to your cpu highlight the appropriate modules in the module list and click the expansion module information button 
a separate dialog appear listing the module type modules revision levels and any modules error or other relevant information in the scan rates information this the reset scan rates button allow you to refresh the times in the three scan rate fields in the event history if your plc type support the event history log the button will be enabled click the event history button to view a log of power ups more transition and fatal error in this slide you will see the option for the project comparison to compare step 7 micro win project component to a plc select the menu command plc and compare click the check box to select which project component will be compared the comparison is made between the project you currently have open in the step 7 microbin program and the project content in the cpu now i will share the information of the status chart then how you can build a status chart you can build one or more status chart to monitor and debug program operation after you download your program to the plc open a chart to view or edit the contents of the chart turn the chart on a gather status information as your control program executes dynamic changes in status chart data can be view in two different ways chart status in display status data in a table each row specifies a plc data values to monitor you assign a memory address a format a current value and a new value if you are using the right command trend display track status data with a graphic plot of plc data over time you can toggle existing status chart between the table view and trend view new trend data can also be assigned directly in the trend view first select the chart status button and then the trend display button so that the status collection for the trending future begins you must select the chart status button to start plc data collection if chart status has been started then the trend chart will immediately begin displaying collected data in this slide uh, you can see uh, some step 7 microbin instruction uh, and some uh, definition for uh, all of these for example you can see here the diagnostic led control and if the input parameter in has a value of 0 the diagnostic led is turned off if the input parameter in has a value greater than 0 the diagnostic led is turned on in yellow the all have some definition in my further lecture i will explain a one by one for all of these instruction this is end of lecture please help to subscribe my channel thanks for watching